And this is just going to be a video, just me talking about what I've been up to for the last two months and what my plans are uh, coming up as far as travels and new opportunities. Uh, for those who are just discovering my channel or, you know, maybe came across my channel by accident. Uh, my name is Tina and I have a travel channel that I just upload videos of my travels. I've been traveling Europe specifically for the last seven years total. Um, but for the last three and a half years, I've been traveling nonstop uh, all of Europe. I am an American from Long Beach, California. Shout out to Long Beach. Um, but, you know, I also work online. Uh, so that gives me the ability to just travel all over. And um, the universe <laughs> has been just giving me more opportunities uh, as far as online work. So, you know, I'm able to work anywhere. As long as the Wi-Fi is good, as long as, you know, it's a place I love or like a little bit. Uh, so with that, I've been, uh, I've traveled hmm, about now 30, 35 countries, most of them Europe. And I'm what they call a slow traveler. You know, a slow traveler is someone who goes to different countries and, you know, I stay for at least three months. As an American, I can travel all over Europe uh, and uh, I get a chance to stay in the Schengen zones for three months at a time. In non-Schengen zone, Schengen zones, I just, you know, would leave after my three months are up and then I go to a, a non-Schengen zone and I stay for the amount of times I want to. So that's how I've been traveling extensively. Uh, I am, I have multiple streams of income, as they say, that's like a popular term to say, but uh, I have multiple jobs online. Um, so um, I teach, I'm a business English teacher for an education company. Uh, I also have my own uh, website where I teach English, but I'm also uh, a recruiter for an education company. So, and then I also teach for another platform teaching English to adults. So I do have multiple streams of income that's strictly online. So it just makes it much easier uh, for me to be able to just, you know, go where I want. I'm also a single girl, so <clears throat> that makes it also easy <laughs> to travel when I want to because being single uh, makes, you know, your life just more flexible in that, in that way. Not that you can't travel if you're not single, because you can. <laughs> of course, you can travel, you know, as a couple, travel with family. And I have many friends out here traveling uh, like me that are doing so. Yes, but um, I'm, you know, trying to find my forever home now. Uh, I am currently in Poland. I'm in Gdańsk, which is on the uh, coast of Poland. It's beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, it's, you know, one of those places, it, it's very reminiscent to uh, Amsterdam with the canals. And I love the fact that, you know, it's kind of slower paced in, in a way. And I love that. And, and so this is not my first time in Poland. I've been po to both Poland, um, you know, four different times, four different occasions. Uh, I have Polish friends. So I come and I get a chance to see them. Uh, also, uh, I used to teach English in, in Warsaw, which is the capital city of Poland. And, you know, that's how I kind of fell in love with Poland. I think Poland is still an undiscovered gem with most travelers. They don't realize how much is here. Uh, nature, um, the architecture, the food. It's a very affordable country as well, but you get quality for what you pay for. The Polish people are open, you know, they're friendly, they're a little quieter than some of the other European states, not states, European countries, but you know, very, very, I feel comfortable uh, when I'm in Poland. So it's, it's a good place to visit. It's so many different cities that are different from each other. Uh, like I said, um, I'm in Gdańsk. Um, I, Krakow is an amazing city, very, um, very international 
And then I visited Ostend, which is where one of the largest castles in Europe is, is and it's, it's amazing too. Uh, I've been to, of course, Warsaw, which is the capital. Uh, Zakopanek, that's like a ski resort. But anyway, I can name a lot. But it's one of these places that it's, it hasn't been discovered as much as it should be. Sometimes I want to keep it that way. Let it be a, a hidden secret so it won't get overcrowded, you know. But anyway, I've also had the opportunity to meet different travelers from all over uh, Europe doing the same thing I'm doing. So it, it kind of, you get kind of, you meet other like-minded people where you can network with and things like that. And that's how I've been traveling. I would go to one country based on, you know, someone else telling me it's a great place. My, one of my favorite places that I discovered uh, in 2021 uh, is Georgia, the country of Georgia. It's one of my favorite countries now. The food is the favorite for me uh, next to Italian. Uh, but Georgian food is, I can't even describe how good it is. <laughs> and I'm normally a picky eater. And I don't eat everything. I'm allergic to milk and certain, you know, types of dairy products, but I don't know what it is with Georgian food. I just ate everything. And but besides the food, it's one of those countries where the friend the people are very friendly and you can feel very comfortable there. And it's another undiscovered gem. It's kind of like a developing country in a way where it's not a poor country, but it's just undiscovered to the point where now they're uh, kind of becoming well known and more touristy so there's a lot of you know um, construction going on a lot of buildings it, their coastal city I stayed in uh, for almost a year but to me it's kind of like the small version of Dubai the way it's looking it's on the coast with these really nice fancy buildings but anyway <clears throat> so those are the type of places that you know <clears throat> excuse me that I like. I'm a coastal city person, which means I'm a water baby. I love water. I love being around where there's water. But uh, I'm making this video because there I'm looking for my forever home now, some place where I can reside permanently in Europe specifically, and somewhere where I can travel from. It could be my home, not just my base. I, I will continue to travel because that's what I do. Uh, but I'm trying to find that place and I was offered different opportunities uh, for working in these places because, you know, I can't just move to Europe without a visa or some type of residency or, um, you know, work visas or something like that. It's, it's not easy. It's not like you can just go and live <laughs> in Europe, which I wish I could. But uh, yeah, so now I'm looking at opportunities to um, be able to stay in France or Switzerland or, you know, someplace like Italy. But now on the radar for me also is Dubai. Dubai, I have a job offer there and um, I'm thinking about taking it. So that will give me an opportunity to at least visit another country and get another experience before I decide on my forever home. Um, but, and, and a lot of people want to know why I'm deciding to move to Europe. Um, you know, as an American, there's just so many different things that, you know, I do love about my country. But as I get older, you know, you want longevity in life, of course. And, you know, you, it's important to have quality of life. And, and that's missing uh, living as an American for myself in the U.S. It's just, I realized that when I was in, you know, as I'm in Europe, it's just a slower pace. I'm more comfortable. The food is good and good quality food. Um, I think I feel healthier when I'm abroad here in Europe. And, you know, a lot of people who have not lived in another country specifically, Europe, you don't really know the difference in the food until you've lived abroad and you you know the difference between that food and our food as far as American food. And, you know, there's food in Europe that is 
you know, you it has to be, you know, the right type. There's certain foods that is illegal in, in Europe that's not illegal in the U.S. Uh, a lot of our foods will not be transported to Europe because it has, you know, a lot of, um, you know, um, <clears throat> ingredients, excuse me, ingredients that is illegal here in Europe. And, you know, no matter what you think about it, it does contribute to a lot of health factors in the U.S. Um, a lot of the, um, I don't know what you call those, but, you know, a lot of added additives that are, that are added to our food. It, it contributes to, to some of the health problems that we have. And that's why when, you know, living abroad, I notice a lot of expats, a lot of people who move uh, from America to Europe, they realize their health gets better. And that when you do go home for a quick break, you, you get sick when you get there eating the food because most of the time now, if you're longer term, and that happened to me when I came home for a short, short time, you know, my body purged all the unhealthy stuff out of it from living in the U.S. and living abroad. And so when you come back home, you eat the same food and then it, your body's not used to it any, anymore. So, you know, those are one of, that's one of the reasons too. Food and the biggest reason is safety, you know. Uh, I'm making this video, video January, what is today? January 24th, 2023. And from that time, from this time to the beginning of the year, there's already have been at least four uh, different shootings, uh, you know, mass shootings in the USA. And two of them uh, were in California, which is something that, you know, I'm not used to as far as the California shootings. Um, yeah, so it's just getting to the point where I just, don't want to have that worry. I don't want to be looking over my shoulder every minute. I don't want to not go out at night and enjoy, you know, activities, which I get to do here. You know, it's safe in Europe, not just Poland. It's safe. I've, like I said, I've been to 23 countries, 20, no, 25 now. <laughs> and the majority of the, this country is safe. Of course, you have to watch your back anywhere because anything can happen. But, you know, there's many people, all ages are walking out. They're out at night enjoying, you know, the weather and enjoying each other past the time of, you know, midnight. You see older people, younger people, and it's just safer country. Plus, it's cleaner. Uh, most of the European countries are cleaner than the U.S. Uh, cities. Uh, states is true and you know I'm not bashing the US I'm just being honest uh, also there is just a calmness a uh, life life work-life balance that is respected here in Europe more than it is in the US uh, also the biggest factor and a lot of people don't realize is that it's cheaper than the US you get more for your money uh, here in Europe. So, you know, of course, some places are more expensive than other countries like Switzerland and, you know, um, France is more expensive than, say, Poland or uh, Croatia, places like that. But they're all, you know, at the big, in the big picture, they're all still more affordable than living in the U.S. Uh, because, you know, one thing too about living in Europe, you don't have to worry about owning a car uh, for the most part. You know, people own cars, of course, but the infrastructure is so good in uh, a lot of these countries, especially here in Poland. Uh, you have transportation that you can just use instead of driving. You have metros, uh, trams, buses, and uh, trains, <laughs> you know, so you can take the train, seeing other countries really quickly, you know, because they're all near each other. Uh, you can all take the trams in your city that you live in or the metro station. And, you know, another good, good thing, too, about these cities, about these countries, they have great livable cities. Their infrastructure is great. It's updated. Uh, a lot of the metro and the trams have Wi-Fi on them. Um, you know, as I said, again, they're clean. You're not full of homeless people. You know, homelessness is not the big problem here in U.S. of course I mean Europe of course they have homeless but that's because you know they may have some issues or whatever like that 
but the government normally would usually they take care of their homeless um, they provide you know homes for them um, that are through the through the state but that's a whole nother thing I won't get into that <laughs> this was just a get to know me uh, video because I just started you know using YouTube uh, to communicate with those people who are maybe interested in doing what I'm doing uh, because I didn't start off wanting to move to Europe, although I've always uh, was interested in Europe and was going to travel for, you know, a, length, a lengthy time. But as I lived here, I realized, wow, you know, we, we're always told as Americans that uh, the U.S. is the best in the world. And, you know, that's not true. There's many best in the world. And as a matter of fact, to be honest, there's a lot of other countries in Europe and probably the Middle East, <laughs> you know, when, what I mean by that is, you know, Dubai, Qatar, and those places that I, that I personally have friends that live, those places are better than the U.S., you know, uh, specifically when I'm talking about um, cost of living, quality of life, um, the, you know, health care, that's a whole nother ball game, you know. I think people know by now that America is the only country, only developed country uh, in the world that doesn't have, uh, that don't have universal health care. And we're the richest country uh, and we don't have that for our citizens. And that's very sad. And uh, we are not the best, you know, we are faltering in a lot of places and infrastructure is another one as well. We don't have you know, transportation that's, you know, available for many people in all of our cities. It's only in some. Um, and when they are there, they're not clean. They're not updated. You know, our bridges, you know, it's just, it's a mess. <laughs> but anyway, um, but I, I have hope eventually for the U.S. Um, but for me, uh, I think uh, as I'm getting older, uh, not that I'm old, but still, as I'm getting older, I think it's just, I have to think about myself and what is safe for me. So I definitely am continuing to travel. I will go home for a short break this uh, next time, next month. Uh, but I'm on the search for my forever home. Uh, but I may take that break and go to Dubai for a year and, uh, and work. And while I'm there, I'll still be doing my research on where I want to eventually reside or live long term and how I'm going to go about it. Uh, because definitely I need to work that out. Um, yeah, so I did mention that I do have, uh, I work online and I also do have a online business uh, where I, it's an e-commerce e business. And I also have my own body creams. And those will be, I will work on uh, finally displaying and um, making those available once I find my forever home or get close to it because I want to be able to show the, uh, the, the public, uh, you know, my, my products. And that's a little bit hard when you're traveling like this. I can't really be the full entrepreneur that I that I want to be. But yeah, this year things will be happening. <laughs> so feel free to follow me, you know, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's not one of these channels where I'm going to just always have uploads of what I'm doing in a day. Um, but it may get to the point where I'll have some of those, you know, follow me in a day videos. I do work and you know online so it's a little more difficult for me to schedule the time and I don't even see how all these YouTubers can do this editing and you know uploading videos every day or every other day it's it's time consuming so yeah I'll try to you know up those videos as much as I can I plan to upload videos of you know when I do travel to du to Dubai uh, also, if I change my mind, you'll know that uh, I'll upload videos of just the cities that I am in before I go home. And, you know, also I'll try to document when I do go home to California for a short time, what I'm doing and what the plans are and what it's like to be able to uh, try to move and move permanently to Europe. 
because that's the goal for 2023. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, I guess I'll end this video right now. It's not that interesting, but you know, for those who already know me, uh, this is basically for them. And then for people who just come across this video, uh, it's just, it's nothing, nothing to see here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you're interested in, interested in, you know, following me through, you know, through my travels where, you know, I've been all over Europe, uh, having fun, enjoying meeting people, learning languages. And now I'm on a different mission where I've decided I love Europe and I'm going to, I want to live here, um, but I'm taking one more trip before I decide. <laughs> so just, you know, continue to follow me and I'll try to make it interested and upload probably once or twice a month or maybe more. We shall see. But anyway, thanks for joining me and continue to watch my videos uh, of my next cities I'll be visiting in Europe. Okay, bye.